Now, he's played a major role in our understanding of human insulin resistance with the discovery of novel genetic mutations associated with defects in insulin signaling, helping patients in the United Kingdom as well as the rest of the world. I'm joined by this year's Banting Medal awardee, Sir Stephen O'Rahley. Well, congratulations, thank and thank you for joining me. Um, what, let's start from the very beginning. What got you started in working in diabetes? Okay, well, I always wanted to be an endocrinologist. I loved hormones, and I loved the idea of diseases that you could treat in people. They, they, you know, they were diseases you could mm -hmm. diagnose but using biochemistry, and you could help people with, uh, with you know, proper targeted treatments. But I met a wonderful man called Robert Turner who said, you know, the most interesting hormone is insulin. And in those days in Britain, you were either a diabetes person or you were an endocrine person. But Robert sort of taught me that you could be a diabetes person but still be an endocrinologist because insulin was a fascinating hormone. That kind of kicked me off. And there you were. Some 30 years ago. So tell me, um, what, was, what was one of your biggest breakthroughs? Well, I guess in the first period of my research, I worked on uh, people who were first degree relatives of people with type 2 diabetes. And back then, really was almost a shibboleth that, that type 2 diabetes was an insulin resistant condition. And what we discovered early on was that actually those relatives had really abnormal pancreatic beta cells. They were dysfunctional, they were not pulsing normally at an early stage. And though we published those papers and they really came, were, were very well recognized. Mm -hmm. So I understood the excitement of seeing something new really from the very early first year or two of research. But, you know, so that was a fantastic start working in that lab in Oxford with Robert Turner. So then what went into making the making of this particular achievement? Well, it, I guess it's a Lifetime Achievement Award, mm -hmm. so I've been working in the area of diabetes for over 30 years and, and taking it a variety of angles and approaches to it. I suppose if there is one thing that I've been highlighted uh, mm -hmm. for doing, it's looking at unusual patients and rather than saying because they're rare, they're not important, digging deep into those patients and trying to discover what the underlying mechanisms are. And sometimes those discoveries have led to very interesting uh, 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 findings which have been generalizable for the science of glucose control, the science of weight control. I think that's probably, in terms of my title of my lecture, which, which is Treasure Your Exceptions, it's those exceptional patients that have taught us so much more than the rarity of their condition. When we talk about those exceptional patients, I, I believe that's part of your lecture tomorrow. So tell us what you'll be talking about. Well, uh, as I said, the, the lecture is called uh, Treasure Your Exceptions, and, the, and the, the exceptions I'll be talking about are those unusual patients with either extreme insulin resistance, extreme obesity, from which we have learned so much. And also, I'll be talking about the exceptional people I've been mentored by or have had the pleasure of working with over the last 30 years, and that's kind of the trope of, the, of tomorrow's talk. Is that what drives you, the patience and the breakthroughs in the research? What, what is your motivating force? I think there are two things. I, I, I'm at heart a scientist. I, I, I get the aha moment and the, the kick of seeing something that's never been seen before, and that's shared with whatever other scientists work on. They, good scientists, I think, always get that thrill of discovery. But the pleasure of working as a medical scientist and one that still sees patients is that some of the discoveries we've made have actually led to patient benefit. And so, for example, we were the first to give leptin to children who lacked it from birth. And the dramatic benefits on those children's lives were staggering to, you know, to witness. Right. I also want to mention uh, the national service that you actually brought to the UK for insulin-resistant patients. Tell me about that. So over the years, we'd been studying patients with extreme insulin resistance, either people with diabetes who needed very large doses of insulin or people with a, a range of endocrine problems. When we measured insulin, it was extraordinarily high. And we discovered a lot of the genetic diseases that lead to that, developed some biochemical tools that could help us diagnose them better. A lot of physicians around the country were puzzled by these patients. They were very hard to manage, very difficult. The patients weren't getting a very satisfactory mm -hmm. uh, set of answers from so we convinced the UK government and the Department of Health to fund a centre in Cambridge which patients, free of charge, could come nationally for an assessment, for genetic testing, for biochemical testing, and we now provide that service to all of the UK. And patients come, visit us, we assist the doctors around the country by telephone support in, in helping them with these very complex patients. So I think it's worked very well and it's been going now for about six, seven years. And, uh, gets funded every year and we've seen hundreds and hundreds of patients. Wonderful. Well, congratulations on your award. Thank I know you. it came as a surprise to you. Your did. work is no surprise, but the phone call you got. It certainly was because I didn't even know I was eligible this year. I knew I was put up a couple of years ago, but I thought you had to be put up every year. So it was totally out of the blue. Isn't that nice? It was very nice. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.
ADA TV is brought to you from the American Diabetes Association 79th Scientific Sessions. For more from the meeting, make sure to click these links and subscribe for much more from the world of medicine.